Hey there, lads and lasses. This is Thunderhand64 coming at you from the Generations Minecraft Realm server on a Saturday just a little bit before noontime. Actually, I'm starting a couple minutes early today. Uh, why? I just felt like starting a couple minutes early. Uh, I get everything all set up a lot faster than I thought I would, and so I figured I would just jump right out, right on in and start a little bit of Minecrafting. So, um, as you may have noticed the last time, we have officially broken ground on the official Chamber of Commerce, aka the Trading Center. And here is our makeshift trading center that we've been using. And this will be the official building. And I just laid out the front part of the foundation. But now we need basalt. And that means an excursion into the nether, everybody. And so if we're going to do an excursion into the nether, then we have to be equipped for that. And so I've been doing a little grinding this morning to get things ahead of time, uh, get things ahead of schedule a little bit. And uh, so I did a little off-camera grinding and I got some villagers in place up on the top floor. I have four more farmers up there and I need four more and then I'll have 16 farmers and that's all I'll ever need. I can then take that top that top layer up there that is wheat and carrots. I can convert that over into melons and then I'll have plenty of melons because we need to rack up XP really, really fast. And one of the ways to do that is just to do the quick, quick trading runs with those farmers and the melons and we rattle things off and the XP builds up very, very fast. All right, so uh, it is just about time for us to take a nap and then we'll go up and we'll continue what I started this morning. Up there, you can see where I added some new dudes. Now again, this structure, as hideous as it looks, is temporary. This is the real structure that's going to go all the way up and contain all the different floors of the, uh, with all the different uh, professions for each floor and um, underground on this end will be the pumpkin farm that goes automated pumpkin farm that goes all the way down to layer five and then on this end will be the bubble vader up here which will carry people up and down uh, from the upmost floors up there to the bottommost floors down there in the uh, down on layer five but for right now let us lay down our little bed and have ourselves a little nap And there we go, up and ready to run. Okay, and as you can see, we were advancing our four latest farmers over here. We have this guy with the wheat, and the uh, and we're um, selling wheat to him, and we're buying bread off of him and cranking them up here. This guy also all set here. This dude here worries me, though, because there's no pumpkin trade. Uh-oh, this guy may need to take a trip to the nether and, um, you know, lose his profession and then be shipped back here, we'll see. Or, at, at the very least, just stuck back into the re villager reserve and replaced. And, yes, you can be replaced. You are replaceable. And then this guy over here with the wheat here, uh, we can sell wheat to him and then we can buy uh, the bread off of him. And then eventually we'll scale up to pumpkins. All right. So that's where we're at right now. So I went off camera and I got this started here. And so, again, we need to be able to uh, rack up the XP is, is the most important thing. Get this to the point where we can crank on the XP. And we're doing quite well, actually, so far. Uh, plenty of emeralds with which to buy uh, the bread to advance their trades. That's really, really good. Uh, the next crop of melons growing in really, really well. Yep, next crop of melons growing in well. There we go. And next crop of wheat taking its own sweet time there. And so let's harvest us some melons while we're waiting here. And the idea is to get XP. We already have plenty of emeralds in which we can buy enchanted books and enchant our gear with, but we really need the XP to apply it. And we're low on XP right now. We're only on 13, and right now it takes a while to build up some XP. And so the thing is, is to gear up our trading so we can uh, crank the XP. And once you get this trading system going, you know, it's much better than a mob grinder. I, I think it is. I think we get tons of XP just by trading. And at the same time, we earn emeralds and all kinds of goodness. All kinds of goodness happens. 
Okay, that's that's good. That's really swell. All right, so let's get over here and. Uh, Rack up the old XP. Also, while we're earning emeralds so we can buy bread from the farmers on level two, so we can advance their trades. And you see how this system grows itself like this once you get to a certain level. And you get these closed loop kinds of systems going here. It's just, it's just amazing. Yeah, see? This guy has the pumpkin pie and the apple for trade. And so the good thing is he will buy melons uh, when we get him down here. Uh, and I'm talking about the other guy up there. Uh, he will buy uh, melons, but he won't buy pumpkins. So not good, not good. Okay, we're, we're all out of melons. All right. come here to sell melons and kick butt and I'm all out of melons all right so let's go ahead and we'll buy some more bread and we'll do some ridiculous rhymes like that I'm not sure if it's any re better really to buy these one at a time off of these guys like this Yeah, maybe I should just go like that, right? For each one. I don't think it really makes that much of a difference. Listen to that XP trickling in, everybody. And then there was this guy up here. Okay, there we go. And then we can buy some secondary trades off of them like this, like the apples because we just have so much, so many emeralds. Here, I think I'd rather buy the pumpkin pie here. Here I have no choice. I should conserve some of these emeralds though. Should be a little more conservative here. Like that. Okay, see, now we're at melons with these guys, and now we can really take off. Yep, we're, we're in the melon level with these guys now. Yeah, see, this guy, though, he's not going to sell any pumpkins, so uh, he's going to have to go back in the reserve eventually when we're ready to switch over to pumpkin trades. This guy's all set, though. That's all I really need to do. Now I want to conserve the rest of these because we have four more we have four more farmers that we have to set up over here. Four more farmers, everybody. That's gonna be a little bit tedious. But you know, grinding's what it's all about. That's how you get ahead. And we want to be all set for our trip to the nether. We're actually going to need another chest for food here. Because Good Lord, are we generating a lot of food. So I'm going to do a little something like this. Chest monster is growing. That's not a good sign, everybody. Chest monster is growing. Okay, uh, a couple of things. A couple of things. I want this to be all food in here. That's fine. And I also want this to be all food. So we're going to pull some items out and put some items in. I'm going to organize this thing a little, little bit here. Doing well there. I'm going to keep that over in there. 
I think we're looking good here. These potatoes, though, I'm going to keep over here just in case we ever want to plant potatoes. Don't need the kelp. Okay, I think we're good there. And again, I can pull out some of this stuff. I can throw in some of this stuff like this. Let's get rid of the kelp. Let's stash the bone meal right in here. unload some of this stuff some of this non-food stuff oops a little too much no I need those there we go all right that's looking good and just doing a little chest management here that There we go. Done. Okay. Let's get some of the food items out of this chest, put them in the other one. Try to keep all the food stuff together. Not super critical, but makes things a little easier. Wow. Nice to know we're all set for food, huh? And again, you know, that's why I like this system. That's why I like starting out this way. I know it's grindy. I know it takes a while to do. But I think in the end it's worth it. Wow, that sun's about to go down. It stays end so quickly. All right, so just doing a little check in. It looks like small doggos here. So whenever I see somebody in the chat, you know, I like to say, hey there, how you doing? Hey there, Doggo. What's up this morning? Or this afternoon? Wherever you happen to be. <laughs> I think we can be safe and say, what's up today? Just waiting for the sun to go down, and then we're going to go up here, do a little bit more work. And then uh, we have to go into the nether. And I'm wondering what I should do for the nether. Uh, I'm thinking, uh, because I'm going to have to find a basalt delta, and I do not have one readily nearby. Uh, the immediate biomes I have nearby are the nether waste. Uh, I have another fortress that's very close, that's nice and handy. And we have a warped forest, which is really cool. But uh, what I really need is a basalt delta. And I did not see one immediately around. So what I'm thinking on doing is, access the roof of the nether maybe that would be step one get up above there and then from there i can go out and i can look at the biomes and then uh i can travel on the roof of the nether where it's nice and safe and then from there i can go find another one right so i can go find the basalt delta the nearest one from there and i can just start in at zero zero on the roof of the nether and just make like a spiral out until i hit one Okay, so I think I'm doing well here. Uh, we have some guys up there, and let us see. Uh, next crop of melons isn't quite ready to roll yet, I don't think. No, 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 that could go in a little bit more. Let's check on our next crop of wheat and carrots. Uh, this is about ready to go, but you know what? I want to save this for the next four, um, the next four farmers. But we took four, almost five dudes out of there, I think. And so we're going to need to replenish the supply of villagers. So yeah, see, we only have one, two, three in here. And it takes a little bit more than that to keep the old village going. You know what I'm saying. So one, two, three, like this. One, two, three, like that. One, two, three, like that. 
And you guys can get a little bit busy over there if you don't mind, Mr. Fletcher. Yes, if you don't mind. There you go, and there go the hearts. Okay, everybody's doing their thing. Okay, so I will let these numbers build back up, and I will draw off of this reserve now while these guys are doing their thang, you know what I'm saying? Okay, there we go. Welcome to the family, baby villager. Look at that little guy. He's so adorable. Okay, um, and then we'll draw off of these guys to, to put in the next the next four. Yeah, we're doing we're doing well over here. We're doing well. That dog goes pretty quiet this morning. Might just have this playing in the background while he's doing something else. So which is just fine with me. Although I do appreciate his tips and input. There we go. Okay, uh, so I need to get four dudes up there, but I need to make booths in which to put them. <laughs> My silly pronunciation. Pronunciation. My silly pronunciation. So let's get some materials here, like this and like this. And let's go up and let's start to put in our our next our next series of booths like this like this like this okay you guys get the idea right the pattern okay and on the ends I like to put two of those and two of those but you know what I need more room on which to stand and so the very Thing. Okay, I need this and this, and then I do what? I think this is a row of stairs I put on here, wooden stairs. All right, let's make some more of those. Let's make some more slabs. What other materials are we going to need here? Uh, I'm going to use probably some, well, I don't know. Maybe a little more cotton. A lot more wood, a lot more stairs. I think we're okay. Okay, so first things first, I need something to stand on, on which to stand. So I can uh, do some more building. And I think I did something like this on the other side. Right, I've got some more stairs over here, I think. No, I don't. Let's make some. That's a, a little better. Something like that, right? So there's a stair there with some blocks on the end. Okay, got it. Then I think I went and put a block like that. And then a block like this. Okay, now we've got a little ledge on which to stand up there. Let's come on over here. Mm, still going to need those steps. We're going to need some wall units. So let's make some of those. Uh, let me see. Think that should be plenty. We're gonna need some slabs, I think, and we're gonna need some trap doors. So let's get some trap doors. Oh, and some carpets. We're gonna need some carpets. Let's get the carpets right here. Trap doors. I'm talking iron trap doors too, by the way. I don't think I have any more. So we're going to have to make. Oh, oh, no, no, we got plenty. We've got plenty. Great, 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 great. All right, so let's lay down the groundwork here. <coughs> Excuse me. That's not COVID, by the way. <laughs> Just had my test uh, recently. That's me inhaling my coffee earlier. <laughs> So, and then I think I did a, did a whole row of steps here, 
like this. And I think I even did them on the side right there. And again, this is supposed to help with the XP flow. That's my theory here. I'm trying to make a path where the XP flows out. Now what I wonder is, will XP flow out of a hopper? Because what I'm thinking on doing is when I make the trading hall proper over there on the floor for these booths, I'm going to put some hoppers, I think, over those. And so if, because what happens is when people are trading with the traders, I, and I do this too, when, when they're trading with the farmers and the different uh, villagers with the professions, uh, what happens is sometimes they accidentally chuck some stuff into the booth. And then they feel obligated to try to get in there to go bring it back out. And what happens is villagers die, things get broken, they escape, and stuff like that. So what I'm thinking of doing is putting some hoppers on the floor with a chest down in the front. So if you accidentally chuck something in there, the hopper will suck it up and deliver it back out to the front for you so it just appears in the chest. Uh, something I was thinking about last night, so I may try that. I may try that, everyone. Again, my theory here is to try to figure out a way which I can get the XP to flow out nice and smooth. And then I'm going to have to start delivering these guys on up to their stations here. Again, this is a real, real hack trading center. Early game stuff, everybody. Early game. I'm getting pretty quick at this now. Now that I've got the pattern established and I, I'm doing what I want to do here, I, I know what I want to do. Now, now I'm getting actually pretty quick with this. Is it speedrun kind of stuff? No, it's not. <laughs> and I apologize. I'm trying to get faster, everybody. I'm trying to get faster. At least I feel like I know what I'm doing now, so... You know what's going to be difficult though is getting these guys all the way back. Yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and ask you to move all the way back. And you know what might actually be a good idea is to put a wall between them so they can actually go a little bit further back. They're going to have that, um, what is it, little quarter space that they're going to go back a little bit further. That might be better, but then you know XP won't flow out from underneath either, so there's that. What would be cool there is to have a uh, end rod there between them. That would be the best. I think it would anyway. I'm reluctant to put a gate there, you know, because... You know, the gate will get open. Villagers will access each other. Bad things will happen. You gotta keep them separated. And what I'm trying to do right now is trying to figure out a way that I can bring them in here and then lay down the carpet. But I think what I did the last time was I, I, I put the carpet in from above, and I think that worked out a lot easier than what I was trying to do this morning. Okay, I'm going to put like an extra layer of maybe just dirt or something right here, probably just wood and just remove it afterwards. That way I have a little bit more to stand on on which to stand and then I can uh, and you know what I'm actually gonna make it out of some really ugly cob cobblestone so I'll remember to remove it later <laughs> I know it looks it's not permanent people it's not permanent 
None of this is. This is all early game stuff. All right, that ought to give me enough so I can make a, um, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe one more. Just so I can get the rails around here. There we go. A little something like that. And I know it looks terrible right now, but remember, new trading hall coming in, right? So we have to sacrifice some aesthetics at the beginning here, people, so we can do our thing. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's awful. It's awful, but it's got to be done. Okay, and then just for right now, we can do a little something like this. Right along the top. And I think that'll be that'll be fine for right now. All right, so the idea is to get four farmers in here. And, you know, we'll put in the librarians afterwards, but the farmers are the most important. we got to get those guys. And then I can get rid of that wheat farm on top and replace that with a melon farm. Get some major, you know, I can increase the melon supri supply. Supply. <laughs> supply. And then we can do more melon trading and all kinds of good things. Now, getting these guys into the carts, I'm having trouble doing that. Because it's hard to push the villagers into the carts now for some reason. That, that game, um, uh, that aspect of the game might have been changed. Because usually what I would do is I would put a cart on a track and then I would just wall in a villager right on the track. And then if I couldn't get the cart to ram into the villager to put him into the cart, what I would do is I would just shove the villager forward and he would get pushed into the cart and off he goes. Now I shove the villager forward and he doesn't go in the cart anymore. So Doggo, if you're listening and you know if, it, if it's the same as for uh, Java as it is for Bedrock, you know, uh, some, little, some tips there would be handy. I'd be open to some suggestions there. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do here is, uh, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to take these guys out from the backside and reduce the amount of rails needed. So I'm going to take them out here, and I think I'm just going to run right along there and then right up and on to the... Right up and on to... right up and onto the ledge there. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. And I'm just pushing the beds aside here so I have a little room to lay some track down. Ah, oh, get those cats. Kachi's cats. Kachi's cats! Everybody's trying to get out on this side. Kachi's cat, I think, is going to get out. I think Kachi's cat is going to make a break for it. The great escape. <laughs> How are we doing over here? I think we're good. I think we're good with all this stuff. I'm going to keep the carpets in the inventory. But the rest of the stuff, I don't need trap... Uh, yeah, actually, I do need the trap doors, don't I? Or did I already place them all? I already placed them all, so I don't need them. I'm good. Don't need those, don't need those. I need the oak slabs, though. Need these lanterns. Wall units? Don't think so. I think I'm done. And I'll keep the cobblestone in the inventory just in case. And uh, we need a lot of dirt for this. And let me see. How else are we doing here? Rails. And powered rails. And levers. We need that stuff. And where did that minecart go? There it is, right up there. And we have a rowboat, just in case things get out of hand. <laughs> things will get out of hand, everybody. Things will get out of hand. All right, if I do this right, actually, you know, if I do this right, if I just extend this out, I can make a straight run with the tracks right, right over there. So I'm going to do that. And I know it looks terrible. I know, I know, I know. I already know that. I don't need to be told that. All right, Iron Golem. Now, you know I'm trying to do some work here. I promise we'll do something about this, okay?
All right, let's let's. Uh, I'm gonna make something really hideous now. Something like that. And uh, let's get some powered rails right here, 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 and here, like that. And let's do this. If I place these levers correctly, yeah, it'll power all of them. But you know what? I always throw an extra one right there just to, just to make show up. And let me see. If I put one of these here, it should connect, right? There we go. Let's go all the way down to the end. This is a little precarious here on the edge. You know what I'm saying? Our villagers like living on the edge. Yeah, they do. I'm trying to come up with a plan for placing those. Uh... Oh, good. I can put these right over trapdoors. That's nice. That is nice. And you know what? I may just, and you know, I'm going to get some complaints about this, but hey, you know, it's it's temporary, people. Just just chill. Just chill. It's going to be all right. Keep calm. Stay calm and keep placing blocks. Well, look, everybody, we've got a lot of volunteers already. But you know what? Kachi's cat is in the way, Ock. All right, I'm going to do the uh, be right back thing. How am I doing as far as daylight? All right, I've got a few minutes here. And uh, I'm going to do the be right back thing. Please stand by. We'll be right back with our next, uh, for our current episode of Generations Minecraft Realm Server Volume 1. All right, let's do this.
and we're back in the middle of the night oh look at them all in their little beds how about our friends over here and you know what we're going to have to uh when we're over here we're going to have to uh hit those guys with the next uh with the next round of bread so they'll uh we'll replenish our supply of villagers and you know what? I actually have to be really careful here. Uh, because, you know, even though I lit up, if you look over here, if you look at the sandstone and actually that little patch of coarse dirt, this is all ocean biome. If you look at, if you look at uh, my F3 and you scroll on down and you see biome, you see mushroom field shore and then see how it changes to ocean right here. So this is, this is where I filled in so i could build my foundation for the trading the trading center the chamber of commerce but that means mobs can spawn there and before i threw these torches down mobs were spawning there yeah we had zombies skeleton archers creepers everything was uh was spawning there and so i do have to be careful at night time now uh, although those torches seem to have controlled that uh the torches that i laid down but 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 you know we still have, we have to be careful there uh, what do we got going here? Uh, let's chuck some more bread into the mix over there and I uh, hope our little friends, you know, get busy. See if they're ready to uh, do their thing, if you know what I'm saying. The nature to take its course. There's some perfectly good bread on the ground right there. You know, you need to... Okay, that's a little bit. Okay, look at the hats, everyone. Look at the hats. Okay, look, let's make another one. You could make two while you're at it if you want to. You know, you don't have to stop at one. That's right, that's right. Come on, you can do it. You know you want to. All right, and you guys should be able to make one more. I mean, do you really need more bread there? Uh, is that what it's all about? Is it all about the bread, everyone? Let's see if Mr. Fletcher has all the bread that he needs here. Oh, yeah. See, there's more hearts there. That's what I want to see. And then one more kid. One more kid. Come on. You can do it. Come on. The miracle of life, everyone! Oh, look, he's got your nose! Okay, and again, you know, I'm going to eventually be pulling more villagers out of here. If that's the case, I need a little room with which to work, so I'm just sliding the beds over. Also, I like to pull up the beds and slap them back down because sometimes these guys. Uh, claim beds and then they don't claim beds and all kinds of shenanigans happen so usually when I'm breeding to restock these guys I just rip up the beds and slap them back down so they can reclaim them uh, actually to be more technical what I'm saying is as I cart these guys away and stick them up here in the booths sometimes they they're still claiming these beds even though they shouldn't be able to path to them sometimes I suspect they do still hold a claim to some of these beds so i like to rip up the beds and then slap them back down and then i think it breaks their claim and these guys can reclaim the beds like they're supposed to okay here we go back to this now uh, let's lay down some track and then i can figure out a way a slick away you know i'm pretty fast at getting these guys out of here and getting them up there i'm pretty quick at it but then on the other hand you know I think I could be better. <laughs> I think I could be better. For some reason, um, I feel like the I feel like the game mechanic that used to load them into the carts. I feel like that's different now. Something has changed there. I think. I feel something has uh, changed with that game mechanic. I, I'm not sure because it seems a lot more difficult to get him to the cart now. And you know what I like to do is I like to put a dead powered rail right here as a break 
because when you don't, uh, sometimes it'll come to a stop and then it'll roll backwards on down, you know, and so putting the brake there really helps. You know what, I'm just going to put those right in there and get those into position. All right, I'm going to try to do this quickly, guys, gonna, and gals, lads, lasses, people. I'm going to try to do this quickly. All right, let's do this now. How to do it, how to do it. And you know, the good thing about the minecart is you don't get two guys trying to, two villagers trying to jump into a minecart. That's a good thing. And the other thing is, if I go like this, and I can get them in a minecart in here, I can just push their head right through their block. There's a little bit of suffocation damage, but not a lot. And uh, I think things tend to work out pretty good. So I think if I go like this and I get Mr. Iron Golem off of the... Can you just get... Just with a... You know... Trying to work... Okay, now Iron Golem, you need to get your butt off the track. There you go. And just now, st oh look, hey, we already have our friends already in here. This is great, 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 great. All right, let's do this. Let's see if we can get on this merry way like this. Come on, you know you want to do it. Come on. Oh, 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 can you get out of his way? You guys are not supposed to be standing on the rails. You're not supposed to like standing on rails, remember? You don't like standing on rails? Okay, he's through. He's through. Great, 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 great. And off he goes. Yes, yes, come on. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to do it. And off he goes. Oh, and there he goes. Look at that. Look at that. What, what are they... Holy smokes, Thunderhand, is that dangerous? What did you do? So stupid. So stupid. So very, very, very stupid. Okay. <laughs> I circumvented my own stupidity once more. <laughs> once more, Thunderhand circumvents his own stupidity. There we go. Okay, that's a little, little bit better. All right, and the next rail system is going to do this. And you know what? I think this is what happened. I, I think I did something like this, and I forgot to update it. Right? There we go. Okay, so the next time, we'll be in business here. Again, I don't want to use my overpowered pickaxe here. I know this is, I'm being a little slow with this, but uh, the, the overpowered pickaxe will just blow a hole right, right through that whole structure. The entire structure. All right, let's get this guy in here. You know what? He may even be able to do the carpet right away. See, I can I can already place the carpet. Oh, great, 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 great! I can just stick the carpet right in there, right off the bat. That's one less carpet I have to place. I like it. I like it. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, done. That one's done, everyone. One down, three to go. Okay, farmer, librarian, farmer, librarian, farmer, librarian, farmer. Good, 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 good. We're all set to go here.
Okay, I'm digging this. I'm digging this, people. With the next contestant, please line up. Okay, and I, th I think I've got a plan for this. I'm going to go like that. Oh, look, hey. I got through. Crazy old cat lady taught me that trick. Pushing them with their head through the block and just the minor suffocation damage and then just getting them through there. That's a crazy old cat lady trick. I forget who she learned it from. I think she saw Impulse do that. Okay, we're going to have to take ourselves a little bit of a nap here, and I'm going to do it right up here, up on the roof. And, of course, whenever I take a nap, you know, I refresh the uh, stream window. Just to make sure I'm seeing you guys and what you're doing in there. Okay. All right, we're looking good. We're done. Back to work. Okay, so, you know what? We need to get the carpet ready like this. And then hop on down and like that. And then we'll go break this. Like oh, wow, he doesn't want anything to do with that, does he? Oh, just a little bit more. Oh, carpet placed. Awesome. Oh, that is so cool. All right, I need that little piece of carpet there, actually, because, because uh, now when I rip this up to place down the job block and to cycle through his trades, uh, that little piece of carpet is just enough to keep him from walking forward and getting out. But it still allows him to access the, the job block. And so he'll replenish his trades. And you know, sometimes I go back and I remove those carpets afterwards, you know. I say, oh yeah, whatever, whatever. All right, this time, this a time, this time we're going to remember to do this here. It's good, I'm feeling energetic today, as you can probably tell. <laughs> Why? Because it's probably not 10.30 at night after I've been working all day. Got a good night's sleep last night, and you know what? I'm, I'm ready to crank. All right, so let's bring our next one over. With the next contestant, please line up. Mm, yeah, you know. Mm. Oh, and of course, they're, look, they, they're all jockeying for position here. They all want to be the next contestant. So who's going to jump in? It could be you. Yes. And away he goes. It, just it, just, it was just a little bit of suffocation. You're okay. Hold your breath. Count to three. You'll be fine. There you go. There you go. Look at you, you ridiculous dingbat. Look at you. Welcome to your forever job. As Corrales says. <laughs> Welcome to Low Tier Gula. <laughs> Okay, and I'm just going to rip those up right away. Okay, now we need to get the carpet into position. The carpet into position there like this. Uh, we need to go get that a little bash. And, 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 up uh, right away. Oh, 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 needs a little bit of persuasion, as all villagers do. And, yeah, carpet has been placed. Awesome. Update the dirt block like this. Oops. A little too aggressive. There we go. And done. We're almost there, people. We're almost there. Now, there are better ways to do this with redstone, where 
you know, uh, Logical Geek Boys Trading Center has this trackway that they walk up, and then an observer sees them, opens up a trap door, they drop down in. There's, there's all kinds of delivery systems like that that you can use. But remember, this isn't my trading hall here. This is just a temporary shack. So I really don't want to spend all the time to set up a lot of redstone and stuff. I'll do that over there in the in the Chamber of Commerce proper. I'll do that over there. And then for this one, though, I just, just took tracks and just jamming them in there. That's, that's fine. Okay, uh, speaking of which, let's update this. And uh, this is our last farmer, and then we can remove the wheat farm, everybody. Once we get these guys scaled up so they're buying melons, we remove the meat wheat farm. The meat farm. <laughs> the meat farm. <laughs> that would be a cow farm, wouldn't it? Or a pig farm. Uh, the meat farm. No. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's bad. We can remove the wheat farm and make that a third level of melons. And, you know, if, if we need more, we may even make a fourth level of melons. So depending. All right. I think we're doing well here with the cart. Uh, I think we're doing a, quite a bit better. All right, let's put Mr. Cart down on the track. Hmm, it's from the wrong side of the tracks. Hmm. All right, now just one of you, you know, could, if you wouldn't mind, just, you know, just like, you know, if you could just go ahead and jump in the car, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, that'd be, or you know, just, you know, just like that. That would, that would be all right. That, no, 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 no. You need to stand on. Okay, that works. I, all right. You want to do it your way? That's fine. A little bit of suffocation. Just hold your breath. Okay, you're good. Up you go. Oh. Home sweet home. Let's get the cap that's in position. Give it a whack with the old. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. And, 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 and still, he always needs a little bit of a nudge there. And yeah. Okay, that's it for farmers, everybody. Now, we may have to swap out. Uh, at least two farmers, I think, eventually. But for right now, uh, we have 16 farmers, everybody, and that's what we need. That's our max. That is our maximum. And now, you know what? Uh, I'm not going to remove all of this, but I'm going to remove some of it. You bet your bottom I am. And that's just to keep our iron golems, uh, aqua golem, aqua golem down there. Yeah, that's just to keep our iron golems from climbing around up there because you know how they love to show off their amazing parkour skills and they like to rub that in my face because I'm not good at parkour and so you know but keeping the stairway uh, stairwell uh, disassembled there for right now I ought to do it okay one two three four five um, three Eight one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. So we're good here. We have the uh, the proper amount of villagers here. Or do we? One, two, three, four, five, and then three little guys. Yeah, five and three, eight. Good. We're we're doing well there. Okay. Uh, well, one thing I am gonna do though is I'm gonna rip that up like that. And you know what? I, I don't mind keeping this here, like because we're going to need um, some librarians up there. And, and uh, short in a short amount of time so but right now I want to focus on getting these guys there, um, replenished and then uh, scaling up our farmers over there all right Francis there you go uh, you, you just take the bread just do, 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 with the bread mm. bread makes me fat mm. carbohydrates mm. yeah I know you want to maintain your spelt figure there. It's brown turnips, you know. They don't come in in an XXL, you know. <gasps> what happened? I saw storm clouds. That's not, that's not good. Can they not path to the beds or something? Maybe the rails? Yeah. Maybe we're going to have to rip up the beds and slap them back down. All right, that's that's not a big deal. That's that's not a big deal, you guys. All right, maybe you don't like the beds like this. Okay, I get it. I get it. Understood. I, 
think it was okay to place the beds like that, though. I think you guys didn't mind that. Although I wonder where that bed just disintegrated to. It vanished into the nether or something. I, I don't know where it went. Oh, it was transported over there somehow. That's really, really odd. Okay, maybe now we'll start to see some hearts now that we've laid beds down and, and pulled them back up again. Let's, let's try it. Look at them all scamper for that bread. Oh, fighting over that with tooth and nail. Look at them. Uh, no storm clouds now. Happiness. Contentment. A little, you know, randiness. Come on. Come on. Yes! Congratulations! Who's passing out the cigars? Hmm. You know, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Captain, no, just come and take the, come and take the bread. You need a little bit more. All right, um, like that. Okay. Junior, you're not you. You're too young for that. Now, come on. Oh, come on. You guys can do a little bit. You know, you don't have to stop at just the one. You know, this isn't 1970s China with a one-child rule, you know? It's... I know land uh, availability is a little tight on the old Mushroom Island Central here, but, you know, it's... Okay. Oh, all right, I see. Okay, I see how it's going to be. Let's do this. I guess this is a task for a new day, huh? I think I'm gonna have to switch to standing mode here pretty soon. You know, one of the things I might do is I might take the back off of this chair. And so I think that'll make me sit up a little bit straighter. And improve my posture. Do, do, do. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to sleep here. It's a filthy feel. It's a filthy iron gold feel of my sheets and my my comforter. Okay. And uh, let me see. We were chucking some bread at these guys over here. Trying to. Okay, I see some more hearts. That's that's really good. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. What? With the storm clothes? What? What with the storm clouds? What? No, 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 no. Okay, uh, maybe there's some disputes over these beds. Maybe there are disputes over these beds. I think that might be the issue. Sometimes you gotta rip the beds up and put it back down, you know? Okay, but I, I don't feel like wasting more bread on these guys, though. I think they'll do their thing. Oh, look at the iron golem. Look at him. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, you don't want to pose it. He's a poser. All right. Let's, uh... I think we'll see the hearts going here pretty soon. Let's focus on these guys for a little bit, converting them into the farmers. And I also wanted to plant some lanterns in between there. Kind of light this place up a little bit. Uh, we don't really have to worry about mobs, but, you know, I'm going to leave these guys in the dark here. Right? That would be nice. I like, I like that. And I think I can reach in between here like this. Got it. There. Okay, that's looking better. It's looking a little bit homey. I mean, it doesn't look better. It, it, these lanterns like this look awful, actually, but uh, I think it's... It'll do. It'll do. That's the point. Okay, let's go get more. Let's go get E. Oh, Sansi, we need four. We need four uh, composters. 
And uh, but you know what? We got to bring them up one at a time because whenever if you're ripping them down and pulling them up, they'll always go back into the stack and instead of into the slot, and it's really annoying. I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna take this like this and put these over here. So yeah, early game is a lot of villager wrangling, everybody. And a lot of the stuff with the trades and stuff like that. Yeah, I know. It's grindy stuff, I get it. But you know what? It's necessary. It allows us to really crank later. And you know what? We can, we can chuck this stuff over here. Carpets, yeah, we're good there. Oh, that's, that's fine. Oh, that's good. All fine, good. All good and fine. There we go. Let's head on up and let's just start doing our thing here. Uh, one of the things I need to do though is is get some wheat in the inventory and some 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 emeralds, and so we can convert these guys. Uh, we can make a trade right away so they don't lose their trade. And I think the wheat up there is all ready to go. Emeralds certainly are. And you know what? We can always make a run with um, uh, with some watermelons too, and uh, get ourselves some more emeralds. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. So let's do a harvest. The other good thing about melons and, and pumpkins, well, pumpkins are completely automated. But the nice thing is, is that after you harvest the melons, you don't have to replant. You know, the, the stems are right there, the vines, they just grow again. Harvest and move on. Harvest and move on. It's nice. The wheat, you know, the carrots, the other crops like that. Not as cool because when you harvest, then you have to replant, and that's like, oh, ooh, that's not good. Gonna have to repair that. I, think I might have whacked that with a hatchet when I was uh, harvesting that last uh, batch. So I'll have to go back and fix that. He's going down and getting the hole. Of course, we've got to get up here and get our wheat and carrots, and then we get a. Oh, stuff uh, out of our inventory. Uh, <laughs> wow, we're actually going to have to make a run and deposit some of this. Whoops! It, oh, I jumped. All right, well, we're going to have to go down and we're going to have to get the um, the hoe anyway with some watermelon seeds and stuff like that. We're going to have to get rid of these seeds that are hogging up space in our inventory up there. Get that in the old composter. We need some melon seeds. We're going to need uh, just one melon seed, but we're going to need this hoe. Definitely. Then I think we're good. I think we're good. I think that was on melon farm level two. Yeah, here it is. So we need to fix this right here. Something went wrong. Terribly, horribly, terribly wrong there. Okay, good. And we need to go top side up here. And again, I got my shield in my off hand here just to free up an inventory slot. Uh, but now we've got the hoe in there. Not good. Okay, let's grab the goodies. Actually, I can't wait to get to be done with the wheat farm. Part. Not my favorite thing to do to grow and harvest the, the wheat and carrots. It, it drives me nuts. Again, I can't get anything into the offhand. I can't really compile anything. I can't really... Yeah, I'm kind of stuck here, aren't I? I need some more stuff like that. We're going to actually have to go down and offload from our inventory here. We can offload the carrots, I think. 
How is our reserve doing over there? I think it's doing all right. Sometimes it's nice to just have a peek at it from above here. I think we're doing well. I don't see any strong claws, but I don't see any hearts either. That's not good. Uh, I'm gonna go over into the food chest. Look at all the food we have, everybody. It's just, it's shocking. It's shocking how filthy rich we are. Look at this. Good lord, everyone. Uh, we are gonna need to keep some carrots here. Um, for replanting purposes. And the same with the wheat seeds. We have to replant wheat. So I can't chuck all of them into the composter. Done. All right. Let's run to the other end and get some of the goodies. The good thing I like about planting wheat seeds is uh, you can't eat them. And so if your hunger bar is a little bit low, you don't wind up eating the thing you're trying to plant, which drives me nuts sometimes. It's, it's only a moment while, you, uh, while your hunger bar restores, but still, it's, it's annoying, I think. Uh, video I got the seed for this map. The title of it is Spawners Everywhere. And you know what? I've yet to find a single spawner. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on, but I've yet to find a single one. I've done quite a bit of mining too. Now, I, I found these spider spawners, the cave spider spawners, but that's an abandoned mine shaft, so of course they're down there. You know, I mean, Actually, we're a little bit low on wheat, but you know what? That's okay, because we're going to be uh, finished with this wheat pretty soon anyway. And I don't think we're going to need another whole field of wheat, so I think we'll be fine. Okay, I think I hear Kachi at the door, so I'm going to have to do a be right back.
Okay, we're back. And are we dead yet? <laughs> uh, let's see here. So let me see. That was, that was, uh, and I was planting carrots, I think, right? So this was supposed to be wheat, carrots, uh, wheat, carrots again. And I'm going to have to sleep pretty soon here, people, because I think it's a little bit dangerous. Again, you know, the whole purpose of what we're doing here is we're getting ready to gear up so we can uh, go into the nether. Okay, let's get down from here and let's do a little bit of sleeping. Don't worry, the villagers are still there, they're just not rendering. See? Uh, these guys have already replenished the entire uh, reserve. See, all eight. And then what about these guys? These guys are having trouble here. They're having a little trouble. I'm going to just go use one of their beds, seeing as how there's one open. And uh, for some reason, we're getting some storm clouds, and that's that's a little weird. So uh, that means they're, somebody's fighting over beds. They're having uh, arguments over beds. I'm going to do that. And you know what? I've, I've got some carrots in there and a little bit of wheat, and that's good enough. That's good enough. Okay, I'm, I want the maximum amount of, 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 of emeralds. <laughs> so I can scale those guys up pretty quickly, those new farmers. And that means I'm going to go and we have enough melons here in the old uh, patch here where we can do it, make another quick run here. Even though they're not, it's not at full capacity, uh, we still have enough here where we can make another run. So once those guys, uh, the new guys, are scaled up so they're buying melons, uh, we can get rid of the wheat farm. We can replace that with another layer of melons. And maybe a fourth layer of melons on top of that, maybe. Because we need a really, really high melon output. You know what? I'm surprised the melons are growing as well as they are, considering we have a roof over them. You know, the, the sky is blocked, but they're still growing well. I mean, I guess the light level's okay, but... And the idea is also behind the trading here is to uh, not just get emblems, but to get XP. And that is critical, my friend. That is critical. So, you know, go... We're not just keeping track. Uh, keep an eye on the emeralds, the amount of emeralds we're earning. That's that's great. But also uh, watch it. Watch the XP build up. Come on out, XP. Come on out. And then, you know, I, I like to make an extra run right, right over the grates here, just in case there's any lingering XP here. Some of those XP orbs are still just hanging there. All right, let's see. I'm going to put those back in the chest. And then now we have some wheat and some emeralds here that we can use to scale these guys up to advance these farmers. I don't think these guys are even mastered yet. They're not. They're not. So see, we're not producing enough melons to make a, a complete run yet. And that's what we're going to need. We're going to need enough melons so in one harvest we can make a complete run. Nope. 
All right, so you need to cycle through these guys. Need to cycle through these guys until we get the one that we want. That's what we want. Just give him one little trade, and hopefully that'll lock him in. That'll keep him. In. All right, on to the next one. And again, you know, I'm doing this one at a time like this instead of bringing up a stack because uh, as I'm placing them, the and then I pull them up. When I pull them up, it goes back into the stack and not into my hand, and it's just a noise. Selling bread, that's what we want. Buying wheat, selling bread. Ooh. Okay. Buying wheat, selling bread. Stubborn, huh? Let's get the shield out of our pot. Stubborn. Whoa! Super stubborn. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying. Okay, and I'm just going to refresh the Streamlabs just to make sure things are cool. And back to the game. Okay, let's do this again. Uh, we need uh, the other composter. Selling bread. You know what? I forgot. I usually put the axe right in slot two. That way it's close enough. It's a little bit quicker. That's why, because I went and I broke this. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not good, Thunder. That's not good. And now Francois here, he doesn't want to get back into his spot. Oh. You know how difficult it's going to be to get him back in there. So let's move on to uh, Giuseppe over here. I'm going to have to go out and I'm going to have to check on Kachi in a few minutes here. Mm -hmm. 
Dude, why are you not changing into a farm? What's going on? How come he won't change into a farmer? Does it have something to do with that guy being in the hole? What? I've never seen that before. Because of that thunder. Oh, dude. Okay, I'm going to have to take a little break here. Uh, once that sun goes down far enough, I'm going to take a little break and come on back. i got to help Kachi get set up for his Chinese school. Why isn't that guy changing into a farmer? That's really weird. Be right back. Okay. And once more, we're back. Just like, just like that. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> Corellis. Uh, I'm not stealing Corellis' thing, everybody. I, I'm just making a reference to him because I like him so much. All right, uh, let's, uh, let's do this. And we were trying to straighten out this, this villager mess over here right uh, that mess we made here because oh hey he finally decided to do his thing all right um let's, let's get to work here and let's not hit the carpet this time 
Okay, there, see? That's, that's, a, that's, see, you know you wanted to. There you go. Oh, you know what? They won't take a job at nighttime. And the sun was getting down. That's why. That's why he wouldn't change. Got it. Got it. I remember now. I remember. I know how to play Minecraft, everyone. See, if Doggo was in the chat here, he could tell me that. <laughs> All right. Now, let's do this, and let's do this correctly this time. Uh, let's put that right there. And you know what? We'll put that right there. And then, uh, then we'll do this. Okay, see, now he stays in place like that. Everything's good. We're good to go now, everybody. Uh, everyone's happy in the, in the realm now. Or happy-ish. <laughs> happy enough. Let's go get our last block here. And remember, he's got the carpet there blocking him. He should be okay. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Just in case. And we're almost ready here. We're almost ready. Can't wait to get rid of that wheat farm. <laughs> I cannot wait to get rid of that wheat farm. But it's so labor intensive. All right, uh, let's, let's do this. Let's not hit the carpet this time. That, that was not cool. That was very uncool of me. our four dudes. All right, let's use up what wheat we have. I think that's all we have really to use. And then let's just buy bread with the rest of what we have. Be a little conservative here. Yep, I think we're going to do this. Like I said, this guy isn't buying the pumpkins, or isn't selling the pumpkins. That's not. Isn't buying the pumpkins. Yeah, he isn't buying the pumpkins, and that's not good. We may have to replace him eventually. This guy, though, you're all set. You're all set, Mister. We're fine. Uh, this guy's all set, and that guy's all set. Great, great, great. So that means um, we may have to replace up to three of these villagers. Eventually, when we move them over into the new place and we switch over to pumpkin base economy, we may have to swap out three of these dudes. That's okay. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. That's not too shabby. And you know what? We might be able to get these guys the rest of the way there uh, just by buying stuff. Uh, buying bread, buying pumpkin pies. Pumpkin pies ought to advance our experience bar really fast and then we should be at the point here where we want to buy melons yep we're good here now we're good with melons 
Now here we're going to have to buy apples, but that's okay because, you know, golden apples, uh, that's something you're going to need for conversions, so I don't mind buying apples, that's okay, for right now, anyway. Uh, he should be buying melons, yep, yeah, good, and notice we're down to three melons now for, for an emerald, that's great. And uh, we'll buy some pumpkin pie just for some food, it stacks, it's pretty good food. It moves the uh, achievement bar, the advancement bar up there quite a bit. He's buying melons now, great. And last but not least, now we have a choice between apples and pumpkin pie. I'm going to go with apples just so we can make golden apples. There we go. There it is, people. We are done with farmers. The viewers are like, thank God we're finished with those darn farmers. Yeah, at least for now. I mean, we have three more to make, really. Technically, we do. But you know what? We're done with them for now. That means we can get rid of the wheat farm up here, finally. And we're almost ready to end the stream, actually. That's 1.30 now. I'm thinking of ending the stream right around noontime. I think we're good there. Okay, that's good. I don't think we're going to be able to trade 12 pieces of wheat. And so we should, we should, we should. Wow, is it going to be nighttime again? God, the Minecraft days go by so fast, so fast. Uh, Oh, okay, I forget the bread. I forget the wheat to make the bread. With which to make the bread. Whatever. You know what I mean? One more slice of bread over here, and we're going to lay the bed down while we're at it. Give ourselves a little nap. Spam clicking the bed right now. And we're done. Sleep, sleep, perchance to dream. Great. And we've gotten rid of any excess wheat. That's awesome. We've got a little bit of bread. And I'm going to chuck some bread into the old villager reserve over here, the one that's south. And I'm going to see if I can't get those guys to do a little, you know, replenishing of the old reserves, if you know what I'm saying. How are we doing here? One, two, three, four, five. We just need three more. Come on, you guys. Okay, I see the hearts. Now, no storm clouds, we've got the beds, everything should be fine, right? Okay, there we go, that's what I'm saying, you know, and while you're at it, yeah! You know, you don't have to stop at one. You know you want to, come on! Come on, Iron Golem, dude, dude with the... You're ruining the mood. Ah, oh, there we go! Woo! Two more additions to the family! And our colony on Mushroom Island Central is growing, everyone. Success, success. You know, this ain't no Jamestown here, everybody. All right, let's go put that back in the chest. And we have enough dudes now. And we can go um, convert that over into our melon farm. Yes, we can. Can we? Yes, we can. All right, let us. Maybe a hoe. We may need two hoes. And what? We're going to need things like trap doas. Yep. We're going to need vines. We're going to need trap doors. We're going to need the whole nine yards. And you know what? We actually don't even need this anymore. And so we can pull this stuff up. 
Yes, we can. We can just pull this up as it is. We don't even have to bother this now. Our days of farming wheat are pretty much over, everybody. And you know what? Next time I do this, next time around for this, I'm thinking maybe instead of buying wheat and selling bread, I should go with the guys that buy carrots and sell bread. I think carrots are a little bit easier to manage than wheat is because you don't get the seeds left over and stuff like that. Uh, wheat, you get the seeds left over and you really can't do much with them. You know, you chuck them in the composter, I guess, to get some a little bit of bone meal. Um, Actually, our system turned out. I gotta be careful about jumping here, so I don't stomp the crops. Stomp the crops? No, those don't rhyme. Actually, from it's stomp the crops, which would make a good techno dance tune, right? Stomp the crops. See how easy this is to convert over to the melon farm now. Melons for days, darling. Right, here we go. Then we're gonna have to get the cobblestone strip right down the middle. But we'll be okay with that. We'll be okay. And then, you know, we'll have to use the trap doors. Now, maybe three layers. Three layers may not be enough. We want enough melons that in one harvest we have enough to make one pass. One complete pass. Now, when we get the, when we get the automated pumpkin farm up and running, we will definitely be able to do that with the pumpkins. <gasps> Don't stomp the crops. first so we don't have the flooding situation. Yeah, I should just stand on the trap door, right? Not to jump. Don't stomp the crops. Again, we may have to make a, a fourth level on top of this. Oh wow, we may not have enough melon seeds. Right now we don't. If we have any more melons in the chest down there, we should convert them into seeds, I think. If not, we can always pull some melons up from the lower levels. All right, we can do that. Yeah, so you can just grab some of those if we have to. We're so filthy rich, everybody. We're so filthy rich. Like, look, we can take these two here. Let's make, uh, let's make a run here. We can just carefully place them in our... Personal crafting area. 
<laughs> in our inventory, and then we can. Uh... Only use as many as we need here. So, let me see. Uh, 36 times 2, 72 over there. I think I managed to complete both of these rows. And then I ran out in this row, but I thought I placed a partial row. Did I not? Or did I just keep them in my inventory? No, I managed to do two complete rows somehow. That's very strange. Okay, so uh, 72 of these, right? And so, uh, what? Oh, they have to be sliced, right? Oh, that is so not good. Okay, well, we know how to deal with that. We can just do this. In fact, if, well, you know, sometimes they yield more than one packet of seeds per slice of watermelon. So we don't want to go and make 72 slices of watermelon. That would be bad. That would be wasteful. And one melon produces more than one slice of watermelon. One slice of melon, one whole melon. So we may be able to get up to 72 pretty fast because look, we're already at 56. 64, that's 65. Seventy-four, seventy-five. We only need 72, we're good. Now how many seeds will this make? Only 64. Then we'll get rid of these wheat seeds because we're going to need a little more space in the inventory. Careful, don't stop the crops. Don't stop those crops, Thunderhand. Yeah, we really don't need a lot more here. Okay, we need what, eight? We need seven, right? Seven seeds? And we keep some just for maintenance, right? So we need eight. I forgot the middle piece. All right, let's slap down the little bed and take ourselves a little nap here. And as always, I uh, refresh the chat while I'm taking a nap. Gonna, oh, hey, what happened? We didn't reset the day. That's odd. Was I a little too impatient? Did I have to get up in the middle of the night? Ah! Okay, that's better. I think we're good here. Uh, we have yet to place the trap doughs to protect the stems, but, but, but I think we're okay. Do I have enough uh, to... No, I don't, actually. You know what? I ought to drop off these seeds. Ow, my cankles. Let's, uh... Let's do that. Oops, we don't want to... No, no, no. We don't want to do that. Just, just the junk. We want to get rid of the junk. Okay, carrots. Like I said, we can unload carrots. That's been satisfying and well. Unloading more carrots. Look at all the wheat we have. Wow. Uh, keeping some carrots in there. Keeping some seeds in there. That's good. Watermelon seeds in there just in case. Uh, watermelons. Uh, we're going to need to make some bread out of this. But you know what? We may need to uh, use this for breeding animals like cows and sheep and whatnot. Let's let's keep that. Let's hang on to that. We certainly don't need it to trade anymore. 
All right, and let me see. Uh, we're done with the hose. No comments about hose, please. All right, and let's... Uh, could have been S-H-O-S-E, too, like a fire hose. All right. Okay, and let's uh, let's do this. Uh, let's do a little bit of that. Yeah. Okay, enough with fiddling around with our inventory here. Enough of that. Let's go harvest, harvest some more melons. Okay, and we'll get all those melons on level two while we're at it. And then we'll have a level three. And maybe, then maybe that'll be enough for us to make a whole run. That'll be uh, 3 times 36, so we're going to get 90, uh, 108, I think. Doors, we would need what four times 36. Wow, four times 30, that would get 120, uh, 144. We 144 trap doors. Really, is that how much we use for that? Wow, okay. Well, we've got lots of melons here. So, first, I'm going to trade melons with these guys on level two first because they need to be ranked up. Sorry, dudes. Mm, we run our melons. Mm. Yeah, I know. But these guys, they really need it. I need enough for all four, so I'm going to trade a stack at a time for each one of them. I know it's slow, but I need to advance them all evenly instead of just advance one and then run out of melons for two or three or four. I think I have enough. We have enough to do this. Then pretty soon we're going to have to go out and have a check on Kachi and see what he's doing out there. Then do we have enough to make one more pass? We do, everyone. We do. See, this guy never wound up um, buying pumpkins, and so we're going to have to convert him when we switch over to pumpkin-based economy. But this guy will be okay, as will he, and as will he. Okay, so we can make another pass with the melons here with these guys, because again, they're not at master level yet. Again, you know, I, I want to bring them all up at the same time. Here. Master. I think we're gonna do it. There's one master. 
Master! Master! Master will pop your opponent. There we go. See, later on this comes in really handy when we just buy golden carrots and we don't do any farm. We don't get our hands dirty with farming ever again. I have nothing against farming. Did quite a bit of that when I was a lad growing up. Boy, that's hard. There it is. And we're done. They're all at master level. Oh, my neck. So these guys are all set to go now. And let's just double check these guys and make sure that they're all set to go. Master. Master. Master of Puppets. Alright, enough for the Master of Puppets. Gag, Gordon, and uh, Thunderhand. We, everybody understand. We all get it. Check these guys on the other side now. Uh, master. Master, I can't help it. <laughs> master. Master. This is funny. Okay. All of our farmers, everybody, we're, we're complete. Other than those three that later on will have to be uh, uh, reevaluated. Yeah, so uh, one of the ways you can do that is to strip out their, um, their profession is you just... Uh, when they travel to another dimension, <laughs> come back, <laughs> they lose their profession. And so uh, if we bring them to the uh, nether and bring them back with, you know, just a simple portal or something like that, they'll lose their profession when we come back. We can reassign them. Or, you know what, we can just retire them, put them, uh, stud them out to pasture over there in the uh, villager reserve and just uh, replace them with three new farmers. We could always do that, too. But you know what? That's a task for day because we are now ready. We are now ready to start gearing up, gearing up for the nether, which means uh, I'm only at 27 XP. I'm going to need even more, even more XP than that. Let's get rid of the rest of us, sell off the rest of our pumpkins here. And look at that, because now we have 16 and they buy four at a time. Four is a multiple of 16. So I can um, I can now um, sell complete stacks now without, without any remainders. That's great. Little number theory there. And look at all our emeralds. This is awesome. Okay, so what shall we start doing? Because we have enough to be buying a whole bunch of stuff here, everybody, and tricking ourselves out. And how are we doing for time? We've got about 10 minutes left, so um, let's start. What I usually do for armor here is I put on unbreaking three first, and then mending. And then for the chest plate and the leggings, protection for, and that's pretty much it for those. And then for the boots, though, the boots, we have a whole bunch of stuff. So Proc 4, Depth Strider 3, a whole bunch of stuff like that. And so uh, the boots are going to be pretty expensive. Now, I keep gold boots in with the rest of my armor because of piglins, right? So when we go into the nether, we're all set there. We don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So uh, a couple of Unbreaking 3 books, a few Unbreaking, uh, unbreaking 3 books to, to get started. But a little nap first, apparently. Again with the sleeping. So that's looking good. After the stream, uh, I take some, I take a break, and I do some stuff around the house. Then I'm going to have to set up for Among Us on the, on our three PCs. So we'll be ready for Kachi time tomorrow. And then I'll play a couple of rounds with Kachi, so I at least sort of know what I'm doing. But I actually don't want to know too much of what I'm doing uh, because I like Kachi to be able to instruct me, and I think it's also funnier that way. And so <laughs> to see me floundering about, uh, let's, uh, where is an Unbreaking 3 guy? Usually I put signs above, uh, but you know what? Again, this is a temporary setup here, so um, mending we're going to do pretty soon. Unbreaking 3 comes first. And I'm breaking three, I think it's kind of expensive, isn't it? Uh, 19. 19, but you know what? We're filthy rich. One, two, three, like this. 
Uh, three times 19 would be three times 20 would be 60 and then minus three, right? So 57 emeralds we'd need, and I think we're going to do it. One, two, That's good. Oh, look, he's so happy. Took me forever to write that on Breaking Free Book, you know. I got a royalty every time somebody buys one. I signed it for you. <laughs> Wonderful. Special collector's edition. Enough, enough Thunderhand. Okay, let, let's do this. Um, let's, let's, uh, da 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 Yeah, there's clothes underneath the armor, everybody, so just chill out, okay? Uh, let's go put these on over at the, over at the anvil. Anvil, that's what we need. Should be properly named good with the unbreaking three, yes. No. Oh wow. It only costs three too, that's great. Okay, and then the next thing I usually put on is some mending. How are we doing for time? Okay, all right, we still got a little bit of time. I think we can go make a swing. Uh, we've got plenty of books, plenty of emeralds. I think we could buy three mending books if they're not that expensive. Oh, please don't be too expensive. That was Silk Touch Guy. This is a uh, farmer. Uh, this is Efficiency 5 Guy. And I think Mending Mendelssohn, he's right over here, right? And, oh, 26. So three times 26, right? That's going to be... Uh, that's going to be 3 times 20 is going to be 84, 84 emeralds, but we have enough. We can do it. One, two. Okay. Now, do we have enough XP to apply them all? Probably not. Uh, we would have enough if they were six. If they cost six XP to apply each, then would would be enough. But if they're more expensive than that, and uh -uh, it's gonna have to wait for another stream, let's do this. Only three. We might luck out here. Only three. Only three. Okay, we're doing quite well here. But uh, the next thing will be proc four, and I don't think we'll be able to do proc four. Probably not. So where's protection four? That's on the other side, I think, right? Protection four. Infinity. So armor first, and then weapons. Fortune three. That was unbreaking three guy, and so they're probably upstairs. Level two trades are literally level two trades. <laughs> oh. Rock four is 31. So times three, that's going to be 93. Uh, we have enough. We could do it. But I think it would be expensive to apply protection four. But that's what we need next. So at least we could buy the books, right? And so let's do this. One. Two, three. That pretty much depletes us. Well, I don't know, 27's a lot of emeralds. But I don't think we're going to have enough XP, everybody, to apply those. Because those would have to be uh, three each. Three XP units each to apply these. And I think it's going to cost me a little more than that. You know what I'm saying? Seven, yeah. We need 21 XP for that. And I don't think we have enough. We don't even have enough to enchant two pieces with protection three. See? And it doesn't get cheaper. It gets more expensive. Oh, well, no, they're, bo they're both seven. And let's, let's see what it, if it is. it less for the boots? No, it's still seven for the boots, too. Okay, so I think we're well for now. I think that's going to do it. And you know what? That might be a good place to wrap up the stream. Let's put our gear back on, shall we? That looks a little bit better. I like that. Okay, and you know what? I'm going to hold an emerald in our offhand because that's what we have been doing. Let's take a quick little run around and do a little recap of what we have going on here. Okay, so 
first thing is we drew off some villagers and then we replaced them and let's see how our villager uh, restoration or replenishment is going on over here we have what one two three four five six seven eight we're all complete all right so we drew off um, a number of villagers from each one of these uh, so I think four from here and four from here and then we we went and we replaced all of them so we're back up to stock with villagers and then what did we do we completed a second layer up top and in that second layer we installed four farmers and we finished the four farmers down below and that gave us eight more farmers we are now at 16 farmers everybody 16 farmers and we ramped up them all up they're all up to master level and since we have the full amount of farmers that we're ever going to need we went now and took the wheat that we've been using to kick off their advancement now we no longer need that and we went and planted a third level of melons so we have three levels of melon farms we have to finish this by putting the the trap doors over to protect the stems for the vines but that's about it and then we'll really start cranking out those melons and then we ought to be able to make in a single pass generate a lot of xp and a lot of emeralds so we can trick out our gear and then why are we tricking out our gear because we need to start to make regular foray regular regular forays into the nether everybody and so that will require some enchantments and uh, we're going to need those enchantments so we're going to need to install a few more librarians uh, armor enchantments um, and then weapons enchantments to get those going and uh, then some clerics for some potions because I find and the nether potions are really the way to go especially that darn fire protection potion especially when you're mining in the nether and you hit that pocket of lava you know if you're okay uh, if you've got the fire protection you're you're good to go the fire protection potion fire protection armor i don't find is really that handy i find the potion is a lot better to do um and so with that we've really made uh some mega progress today a little bit of we did off camera and stuff, uh, but I think for the most part, we really kicked some butt today. And so with that, let's do our sign off, shall we? Right about there. I think that's, I think that's looking good. Oh, we'll jump into the air. Okay, so just remember uh, that this Saturday stream is a scheduled stream, okay? And so we do this stream every Saturday at noontime. It's about a two-hour stream, and then we wrap things up. Remember, our second scheduled stream is tomorrow every Sunday at 9 a.m. That's Kachi time where we do all kinds of crazy Kachi things. Kachi pretty much rules the day that day, and he's decided that he wants us to play Among Us, and Biggie may join us for that, so we'll see. So we're going to try to stream Among Us, so I'm going to have to set that up today, um, later today. Uh, the streams that I do from Sunday through Friday uh, on the evenings, those are uh, unscheduled streams uh, on the evenings there. Uh, unscheduled streams and so uh, followers uh, watch your notifications that way you'll know when I'm on and please come on by you guys know I, I enjoy chatting with you guys while I'm building and working here um, if you're not able to attend the streams sorry my eyes are very itchy today if you're not able to attend the streams then uh, make sure you watch the video recaps on our twitch channel thunderhand64 underscore gaming and uh, they're up there for 14 days, after which they will expire. So we have also made a YouTube channel, Thunderhand64 underscore Gaming2, and that's where we offload and archive all of our streamed videos. And um, so please, if you want to go there and see how we began Volume 1 and our first days and stuff on the island, uh, please go check that out. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. There's a lot of funny adventures, and you can see, count all, the, all five times in which I died from mobs no less really weird and um so you can go check that out also um i do have an instagram page that i'm not that active on as far as posting on there for photographs you know because i 
don't have a way to post from my p c directly to instagram and that's where all the screenshots have come from and stuff from the p c and so i need to download and set up an app emulator and then from there i can post directly on there and also we have a discord a public discord channel that's in the in the works right now and as soon as that's ready i'll let you guys know all right so with that I will bid all of you enjoy the rest of your afternoon, your evening, or your morning, wherever you happen to be. And please come on by and visit us. You know, we really like to see you guys. Okay? With that, we shall do our standard Thunderhand outro. Bye for now, everyone.